Hello, beautiful people around the world, my beautiful patriots. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Oh boy, big, funny, funny. Hands behind your back, ma'am. Hands behind your back. Turn around, hands behind your back. I'm not going to say it again, ma'am. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we back with this corrupt nonsense, and uh, I got to hit my I got to hit my sirens, y'all. The corruptness is coming. <laughs> oh man! Okay, y'all ready, man? This video is coming from the beautiful Melanie King. Once again, and shout out to the beautiful Lori, um, who sent me to check out, you know, Melanie King a couple nights ago, and I've, I, I, lo I love her channel, you know what I'm saying? So, this video is coming from her uh, with another Fanny, Fanny, Fanny Willis update. Fanny Willis gets instant karma after petition to disqualify her reaches over 50,000 signatures. Oh, brother. So let's jump straight in. Let's see what's going on. We're going to throw this bad boy in full reaction mode, man. Full reaction mode. Let's see what's going on. Let me turn it up. As the fanny pack turns. Guys, fanny pack Willis's dis disqualification petition gets 40,000 signatures. And oh, boy. Y'all drop a like for that. Drop, Hit that like button, y'all. Slam that like button if you if you haven't already. Hit that like button, baby. Yes, indeed. And hey, do not be afraid to email me and win a free mega hat. We've sent out tons of hats already, and we're sending them out. And we encourage everybody to go vote, man. We ran it loud and proud, baby. And if you have not seen it yet, you need to go to my live stream where I actually pulled up an independent um, report from Voter GA, which they basically did an audit of the 2020 election. And my God. Yeah, it was something, y'all. We got to check out that whole live stream. And shout out to Lori that sent that over. Um, and that's when I actually fell in love with her channel. And um, she did an amazing job on that live stream. So if you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. I will leave the original link to her channel in this video uh, down below. <clears throat> They show point by point the facts and evidence that outline how Brad Raffensperger, the secretary of state there, absolutely lied in his January 6th letter talk, saying that the there was no problem with the elections there, that the audit was great, everything was fine, everything was above board. And they show how he just fabricated things. He just made it up and how there is layers of corruption. What it, 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 just, it is just unbelievable. And I'm a person who didn't have a dog in that fight. But when now me as an independent person going back and looking at this evidence, I it, it, when they talk about the election interference, which he basically Trump is being charged and his co-defendants for racketeering for trying to interfere with the 2020 election there in Georgia and Fulton County. When he called and he talked about the votes and some other things, guys, when you see the evidence that shows that there was a cover up that 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 possibly hundreds of thousands of votes there in Georgia and they show how the 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 machines actually flip votes they prove it like the layers of this it is absolutely egregious preposterous that they bought these charges against Trump as co-defendants with this type of evidence that is out there it is absolutely deranged to them charge him for this when there's they, it is he had every right to do when they see the evidence y'all what they do <laughs> you know I right there in front of your face you know we've seen all this evidence hope y'all ready man whether they like it or not change is coming in in 2024 and we encourage everybody to go out and vote you can come for our mans you can come come on come but at the end of the day trump was right trump was right at the end of the day no matter how good how bad he sounded he was right he told it like it was you know and that's the first thing they can bring up oh he didn't oh, he didn't oh, oh. 
He just can't accept losing. He just can't accept losing. He was right. <laughs> it and i again i did not know all the details but once i went into it it shocked me so that the fact that this is this is a kangaroo court that her even bringing this case is so ludicrous and so ridiculous and is such a farce where to me she is trying to interfere with the 2024 election that the democratic party there in fulton county and in georgia are trying to interfere with the election in collusion election with the white house in my opinion because she did she and her gigolo sugar boo thing <laughs> gigolo sugar sugar boo 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 oh man running around in in they draws uh, buying designer clothes and designer shoes and drinking the nicest uh, wines and uh, cognac tequila bottles. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nathan Wade both visited and billed the people of Fulton County, Georgia to visit with the White House. It is an absolute disgrace. She's been investigated on how she got January 6 evidence, like ethics hearings. There's just layers and layers of things where she is just, she is a disgrace to Georgia. She's a disgrace to the voters there. She's a disgrace just as a human being to actually bring these type of things. But we see she's an activist. And if she can go after a political opponent and if they can use her to go after a political opponent, then they will do that. But let's get into this. So it says a petition to have Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis's disqualification from um, former President Donald Trump's election interference case has received more than 43,000 signatures. Willis found herself embroiled in a scandal pertaining to a romantic relationship she held with Nathan Wade, an outside attorney brought into her office to help conduct the Trump investigation. <laughs> Child, <laughs> Trump investigation. They should be investigated. It was argued that they should be investigated. I love that she said that. This relationship was improper and should disqualify <clears throat> Willis from continuing to lead the case. She was allowed to remain, but the decision is being appealed. Now that the case is being appealed and we're taking action, the petition reads, our senior legal team, including our own former Georgia prosecutor, is filing a critical amicus brief urging the Georgia Court of Appeals to hear this vital case and disqualify D.A. Willis. Willis and her team indicted Trump, now the presumed Republican uh, presidential nominee, and 18 co-defendants on charges of conspiring to overturn Joe Biden's 2020 election win in Georgia. According to these documents, he did not win. According to the facts and evidences I've seen, I, I'm saying if if it can be proven out, but it seems to be you're silenced if you say anything about it. But according to this independent audit, this independent report, it is there was so, so much corruption going on down there and actually laws were broken um, that can be pointed out. Even one of the electors who did not certify the Georgia election twice, he testified last week that of all the things that were going on and why he couldn't certify the election. And even to this day, things that he was promised to be shown and to prove that everything was above board, they just completely have ignored and have uh, actually destroyed evidence that is illegal to destroy. Like there's layers of this guys. It's, 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 this is why I say this, even this, this, this trial is outrageous. Or this, 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 um, these charges that they put on Trump are actually outrageous. If you, if you were to see it, um, Trump has pleaded not guilty to all charges and repeatedly said that the case was politically motivated. I agree. The petition from American Center for Law and Justice (ACLI), a conservative Christian-based legal organization, is under seven thousand signatures short of its fifty thousand uh, goal as of Friday morning. Now the case is being appealed and we're taking action. The petition reads, our senior legal team, including our own former Georgia prosecutor is filing a critical amicus brief urging the Georgia Court of Appeals to hear this vital case and disqualify DA Willis, um, and disqualify DA Willis. Of course, they reached out to her via email. They always say that. The matter of Willis's removal remains in limbo. Although Judge Scott McAfee allowed the district attorney to remain on the prosecution last month, he also granted Trump and his co-defendants request to appeal his ruling to the Georgia Court of Appeals. The appeals court is now determined whether now is now determined determining i think this was to say whether to review mcafee's ruling the lower court judge had allowed willis to stay on the case as long as special prosecutor mm -hmm. wade stepped down wade resigned hours after mcafee's ruling aclj filed an amicus brief in support of trump's appeal on thursday 
This case isn't just about President Trump. This is about ending the two-tier system of justice. Yes. Yep. And defeating political prosecutions. Um, Georgia is ground zero in this fight. The petition continues. We're filing on behalf of every American because this impacts you and your vote and our entire constitutional system of justice. The petition reiterated similar claims to the ones that the former president has made about Willis, including accusations that she's leading a political prosecution, she is, and that the justice system is being weaponized against conservatives, it is. In his amicus brief, ACLJ argued that an appearance of impropriety will continue until the district attorney was replaced because her role in the case will continue to undermine confidence in the prosecution. One of the things that's important about her being actually disqualified means her entire office would be disqualified. Hmm. Now, Fulton County is the largest county and the richest county in Georgia. They had a hard time even putting together this prosecution of Trump and actually getting any prosecutor to take it up. They even had a former um, liberal governor of Georgia who refused to take it up. They could not find people. This is why she she had her boo thing gigolo, um, Nathan Wade, along with trying to what seemingly is to enrich themselves. Um, Going on trips. Unbelievable. That's a disgrace, y'all. Um through paying him because now he can't pay his bills, according to other reports. I just did a video about that today. Dead beat dad. Oh man. Oh boy. Salute to all our dads out there, all our parents. Love and support your kids, man. Be there for them. You know. Have y'all? We, we did. We did. We did that video on his wife and kids and what's going on with his his full situation. It's just. Just bad, man. Where she lied she, <clears throat> to the board in order to get him um, to even pay him. Like, there's so many layers to this. And and how that, is, okay, so to, in order to get this, she had to do a lot of backdoor, a lot of backdoor dealings. Backdoor mm -hmm. dealings. A lot of backdoor in order to get this thing off the ground. <clears throat> and, and and even some of the evidence, seemingly she's been investigated for, for getting it from the January 6th committee, and she should not have this evidence. So, again, there's a lot of backdoor dealings. And then we see how she has basically been shown to be a hypocrite and all the things that she's done. The surrounding counties that could possibly take it, they're not going to be able, they can't, they don't have the manpower, the budget, or the, the time to actually take up this case before the election in November. So if she's disqualified, I believe the case is dead in the water anyway, just based on the evidence I've seen. But I also believe it is dead in the water once that happens, because no, that means a surrounding county would have to take this up. Another sitting DA will have to take this up, and they're not going to do that. They're absolutely not going to do that. Fulton County can't make it happen. They're not going to take this, take the risk of uh, bringing this case against Trump and the co-defendants. It's just too much work. It's too expensive and there's too much risk involved. And it's already a, 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 a case held together by duct tape at this point. Duct tape. Um, <laughs> McAfee have found in his ruling that the perception of compromising influences would continue if Wade did not resign. But ACLJ criticized this sharply in its filing, arguing that it will also require Willis to be kicked off the case as well. Simply removing uh, the attorney with whom the district attorney had made bad choices, even repeatedly while the repeatedly bad decision maker remains at the helm is woefully insufficient. Absolutely. ACLJ Chief Counsel Jay Sekulow, Sekulow uh, said in the brief, the odor of mendacity remains, which is what um, Judge McAfee actually said in his ruling. He actually, uh, he actually um, chastised Fannie Willis and talked about all the things that she's done wrong, but then he's still allowing her to stay on the case. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, it was a cowardly decision. Um, <clears throat> The odor of mendacity remains and can only be corrected by removing the, dis the disqualified district attorney herself. Sekulo is a well-known conservative figure who previously served on Trump's legal team. He was the lead outside counsel for Trump's first impeachment trial and requested Trump as a personal attorney in the Mueller, uh, was and represented Trump as a personal attorney in the Mueller investigation. 
He has often represented a conservative and religious and anti-abortion groups. Seku Lo <laughs> also represented Trump ally and Fox News host Sean Hannity during the January, January 6th committee's investigation. So this is supported by a very serious man who's actually, you know, had his hand in these types of things before. Let's take a look at the petition, guys, really quickly. Okay, so this is the petition right here, and it says to help us reach 100,000. But what you can see, um, what they have, oh, let me block this out. Um, they had, they said they hadn't reached their, on Friday, they hadn't reached the 50,000 threshold that they wanted, but they reached 53,000. I mean, they've reached 53,000. 53,781 over the weekend. And so now they need the push to reach um, 100,000. If you want to sign this petition, I am going to leave the link to this petition below. I'm going to leave it too. <laughs> It's going to be down below. In the description box, I probably will link it also as the first pinned comment in this video. If you're interested in signing this petition, um, you can see it there and kind of go over everything that um, that is there. And actually, let me click it so you can see more about it. This is what you'll have to do. You have to put in your name, your zip code. And I think in particular, if you're in Georgia, they're going to want to have you sign that as well. So it just gives this. It says they've reached 50,000 signatures, oh boy. Which, which was their first goal, and now they want to push for more, which I think they will get there if enough people get the word out. So guys, again, check the pinned comment below, and also the link will be in the description box. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. And there we go. Fanny Pack Willis. And <laughs> uh, shout out to Melanie, y'all. Link will be in the description box down below, but we're going to leave the link down below. Um, I'll leave it as well. You'll see it. And it's right here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Right here. You saying it? Yeah. Oh, man. That thing is continuing to go on up. It's when it hit 55. And she just dropped the video. So, oh, boy. We're going to leave it down below. And uh, we will catch you beautiful people in the next one, man. Y'all have an amazing week. Start to the week. And we're going to continue to bring updates and everything that's going on, y'all. So, love y'all. Peace.